In the next four videos, we will learn how to analyze the internal structure of sentences. And we will do this using a syntactic theory called X-bar theory. This is the kind of structure we will study, and I promise you that by the end of the videos, you will understand what each of those components is. The most important thing that you need to notice right now is that this is more like a tree than like a string of words. Sentences are not just one word after the other, but they have internal hierarchical structure. This is the heart of the X-bar theory of syntax, which is part of a research program called Generative Syntax. It was started by a linguist called Noam Chomsky in the 1950s. And at the heart of this program, there's the idea that if you use just a, a very limited number of small components, like noun phrases, verb phrases, prepositional phrases, and you combine them and recombine them, you can use this finite number of phrases to create an infinite number of possible sentences. That's uh, why it's called generative, because from this limited number of resources, you generate an infinite number of sentences. In the last video, we reviewed some major syntactic categories. We have things like nouns, verbs, adjectives, prepositions, determiners, uh, like the, uh, this, my, for example. We're going to create a name for these. We're going to call nouns noun phrases, or NPs for short. We're going to call verbs verb phrases, VPs. We're going to call adjectives, adjective piece, adjective phrases. Prepositions are going to be PPs, prepositional phrases, and determiners are going to be DPs, determiner phrases. Each of those phrases is going to have a head. It's going to have like a main word. So in a phrase like big delicious pepperoni pizza, we know this is a noun phrase because the main word in this phrase is pizza, which is a noun, a thing. Um, when you talk about a big delicious pepperoni pizza, you're ultimately talking about a pizza. So this is the head of this entire phrase. If you're talking about Anna from Michigan, you're talking about Anna. You're not talking about Michigan. This is a noun phrase, and the head of this phrase is Anna. If you're talking about walking on the damn sidewalk, you're talking about the action of doing this on the sidewalk. You're talking about walking. So walking is a verb, and it will be the head of a verb phrase. So it is a verb phrase because its head is a verb. It is a noun phrase because its head is a noun. For all of these phrases, we're going to project something called an X-bar structure. This is going to have three elements. The first one is the name of the phrase itself, a noun phrase, for example, and for the noun phrase pizza. It's going to have uh, at the bottom, the head of the phrase, which is uh, a noun for pizza, for example. So this is a noun phrase because its head is a noun, pizza. And then in between these two, we're going to have a level called the bar level, which this looks like an apostrophe, but we call it bar n. We're going to use this to attach additional or satellite information. So we're going to use this skeleton to then combine it with other types of phrases. We're going to have similar uh, bar structures for every phrase we use. So for example, a verb phrase is a verb phrase because its head is a verb, like eats. And it's going to have a bar level, a V bar, onto which we can attach additional information. An adjective phrase is a phrase because its head is an adjective, like fluffy and it's also going to have a bar level to attach additional information. A prepositional phrase is a prepositional phrase because its head is a preposition, as in with. And a determiner phrase is a determiner because its head is a determiner, like the. All of them are going to have a bar level onto which we'll attach additional information. And because all these are so similar, phrase, bar, head, we're going to summarize this by saying that these are x phrases for any kind of phrase, x bar for any kind of bar, and the head x. This is why this is called x bar structure, because we're going to have a phrase 
with a main word or a head and then with additional structure that's attached to it through the bar levels. Let's take a look at how this would work. For some phrases, they are just one word, so you can just use uh, uh, them without any additional information. So the bar level would be empty. For example, in the phrase pizza, you have that the head of this phrase is, a, is pizza because it's just one word, and pizza is a noun. So we have that the head is a noun, and because of that, the entire phrase is a noun phrase because it's about a noun, pizza. We have an empty bar level in the middle because there's no additional structure. In the phrase with pineapple, this is a prepositional phrase because it has a preposition with. So because it has a preposition, this is going to be the head and the whole phrase is going to be a prepositional phrase. The head is P with, and we also have the type of phrase, prepositional phrase, and the bar level. But take a look at this. You can't just say with and have it make sense as a phrase of English. With always needs to be accompanied by something else, by you doing it with pineapple or with a fork or with shoes. So with is always going to be accompanied by things like noun phrases. We're going to call these accompanying elements complements. It is a complement because it is required for the whole phrase to make sense. Complements are going to be projected from the bar level. So here we have the preposition bar, prepositional bar, and from there we project the head with and the complement, which is going to be an entire noun phrase, pineapple, with its corresponding levels. Notice that this makes the head and the complement sisters. These two notes are sisters because they have the same parent. They come from the P bar level. These are a few more examples of phrases with complements. So this is the one we saw before. This is the prepositional phrase with a prepositional head and a complement that is a noun phrase with pineapple. This one is a determiner phrase. And we know it's, uh, that the phrase the pizza is determiner because it has a determiner, the. So the pizza uh, has the head, the, uh, it's a kind of phrase, it's a kind of determiner phrase, and it has a bar level which projects the complement. Because you can't just say the and have it make sense. You always need to follow that by a noun, like the pizza, the shoes, the tree. So you have the head, and then as the sister, you have a noun phrase with all of its structure, pizza. Finally, you can have the prepositional phrase with a fork, which look at how it's several phrases nested inside of one another. It's a prepositional phrase with a determiner phrase, a fork, with, with a noun phrase, fork. And correspondingly, we have this level. The, as a whole, the phrase is a prepositional phrase with the head with. It with needs the complement, which is a whole determiner phrase, a fork. And the determiner a needs a complement, which is the phrase fork. So you can see how out of limited elements, you can recombine them to create layers of structure. This is an example of a phrase that, uh, of a kind of phrase, verb phrase, that sometimes has complements and sometimes it doesn't. So the phrase swims can exist just on its own, like she swims. Because this is a verb, the head is a verb and the whole phrase is a verb phrase. And we have an empty uh, bar level because there's no additional information. However, here in the phrase, in the verb phrase, likes pizza, you have the verb likes, which is the head. So the whole phrase is a verb phrase. And then you have the complement pizza because you can't just like, you need to like something. So here we have likes pizza. And then you, from the bar level, you project the complement which is the noun phrase pizza. By the way, we call these types of verbs transitive verbs because they always need a direct object, which is going to be a complement. With what we've learned, why don't you give it a try? We have a couple of phrases here, coffee, the coffee, drink coffee, delicious, with sugar, with the sugar. 
try to use the phrases that we have so far, noun phrases, determiner phrases, verb phrases, adjective phrases, prepositional phrases, to make the diagrams for these. Go back and forth in the video as much as you need, and then come back here for the solutions. Please pause the video. Your trees should look something like this. Coffee is a noun phrase. So because, it, the, the co because coffee is a noun, so you have just the projections for noun phrase. The coffee is a determiner phrase because it, it has the word the. So it is a determiner phrase with the complement noun phrase coffee. Drink coffee is a verbal phrase because the main word is the verb drink coffee. So it's a verb phrase with a complement noun phrase coffee. Delicious is just an adjective. So we have an adjective phrase with a bar, an empty bar with the head delicious. With sugar is a prepositional phrase because it has a preposition and the head is with and the complement is the noun phrase sugar. With the sugar has two levels in it. It is a prepositional phrase because it has the word with and then the determiner phrase the sugar and then the determiner phrase has a head the and then it has a noun phrase as a complement sugar. Notice that these all are all head complement, head complement, head complement, head complement, head complement. You're going to find this order in, in English very commonly. In summary, we will use the X-bar theory to explain the syntax of sentences. And as you can see, in this uh, theory, phrases are made up of heads and of X-bar levels where we can attach additional information like complements. In English, uh, the order tends to be head, complement. And you can see that phrases are not just flat linear structures, but that they have internal hierarchies in them. 